Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Also made some ornaments very, very similar to how I made my uh, pumpkin decor. I'm gonna link the pumpkin decor video for you so you can see just how that's done. But I utilized that navy and white gingham again and just wrapped them around some glass ornaments that I already had. Last year I had I did like a merry and bright theme so it was like hot pink and green and navy um but I was kind of over that for this year. I wanted to really drive home the kind of vintage gingham rustic vibe and so I covered those old ornaments um using the same exact method that I did for the pumpkin decor. So if you want to see how to make those, check out this video here. With the help of a little, okay, a lot of Mod Podge, I was able to make these adorable gingham pumpkins. And you guys, it's so easy to do and pretty much impossible to screw up. First, I cut my gingham into two inch wide strips that are long enough to wrap from the pumpkin's stem to its base. I cut the large one inch gingham on the straight grain and cut the two smaller ginghams on the bias so I wouldn't have to worry about any of the lines matching up. You can cut your strips with pinking shears if you want, but the Mod Podge is so absorbed into the fabric that the raw edges won't fray. Then I took some Mod Podge and thinned it out with a little bit of water. There's no magical recipe here, you just want the Mod Podge to be thin enough so you can soak your fabric in the medium. And the rest is kind of messy, but also really fun. You just take the fabric strips, dip them into the thinned out Mod Podge, remove the excess and place them on your pumpkin. I alternated large, medium and small all the way around, but you could also go horizontally or without any rhyme or reason at all. Depending on the print of your fabric, it may not matter which way you lay out your fabric. But since my fabric is so graphic and so linear, I wanted an organized design, so I went vertical all the way around. 